What's up guys, I'm gonna do a quest guide today on the quest Terran Gorfiend I am. This is a really important quest to do in my opinion. It gives you a really nice helmet straight off the bat once you hit level 70. I strongly recommend it. You guys should do this quest. Um, it basically has a helmet for every single spec you can imagine, alright? These, these, these helmets are so good. Like, if you don't do this quest, you're dumb, alright? You're just straight up retarded. This quest is so good to do. Um, it just takes a little bit and it takes a little bit of people to do it with. But I strongly recommend it, guys. I can't stress that enough. This quest is really important to do. It gives you a really nice helmet straight off the bat. Alright, so first off, you want to go to Shadow Moon Valley. And you want to go to Wildhammer Stronghold. Or the Horde fucking town. I'm um, not sure what it is for Horde. Um, but for Alliance, you will find Azorus the Judicator. Alright? You want to talk to him. And he will give you a quest to go pick up 15 pieces of ashes. Um, I marked on the map where you get it from. It'll look like this. It's very sparkly, alright? You cannot miss them. You can find it by the little cracks with the green lava flowing. They're really sparkly, guys. You can't miss them. You want to gather 15 of those? Go back to the Draenei, alright? Then, he will give you a quest to kill 12 Shadowmoon Harbingers, alright? Check in your bags. He's supposed to give you some spectacles. And you have to have these on to actually see the people in the um, town. So you put on those goggles and you have to kill 12 of those, alright? Pretty simple. So after that, guys, he will give you a quest to go southeast a bit, alright? I marked on the map. You will find an ancient shadow moon spirit. So you want to turn in the quest. It might be dead, um, because on the last part of the quest you have to actually, you know, fucking kill this one dude. I'll get to that later though. Um, if he's dead, just wait for him to respawn. Um, so you want to talk to him and then he'll give you three quests, alright? I'll give you three quests. I'll show you guys how to do those quests. Alright guys, for the cloak, you want to go right here on the map, right by Black Temple, and you have to kill these Draenei, alright? And they drop the cloak. Um, it's pretty easy, only did one person to do this part of the quest. Um, the next two parts of the quest, you actually need a couple more people, and I'll show you how to do those quests right now. Alright guys, for the truncheon, you will see these ghost riders. Um, just walk around by the same area near Black Temple. You want to kill them, and you might need a couple people because there's a lot of them. As you can see, this rogue is um, having a little bit of trouble. Um, he has his evasion up, but once that goes down, he's probably going to die because um, there's a lot of them. You don't have to kill all of them. At least one drops it. Um. Alright, guys. So for the armor part, you will need a five-man group for this. Basically, you have to go to Netherwing Ledge, way over here, southeast of the map. And you will find this big ass dragon flying around, alright? You wanna kill that big ass dragon? Um, basically, there's a lot of tall mountains. You have to have a flying mount for this, by the way. Fly on one of those tall mountains and wait for it to come by. You're gonna tag it and then you're gonna kill it, alright? It's pretty easy. It's a really easy boss to fight. It doesn't have some crazy ass game breaking mechanics, alright? You just need five people, a tank, a healer, and like three DPS, alright? Um, I've even seen people solo this. Um, Hamster Wheel has a video of him soloing this on his druid but it's not really soloable on bigger servers like warmain or if you're playing at gummies when it comes out because people are gonna gank you all right a lot of people are gonna be doing this quest and they're gonna gank you but yeah guys and then you will get the armor piece so when you get that armor piece you want to head back to the ancient shadow moon spirit all right guys once you complete those three quests you want to go back to the ancient shadow moon spirit by the altar and you want to turn them in and then you will get the final quest which you're supposed to kill the drain eye with terran Gorfiend. Um, a lot of people have a lot of trouble with this part of the quest. Um, if you're having a lot of trouble and can't solo it, I'd recommend getting like one or two healers to heal you while you're fighting them. Um, this is doable in a group, so only one person has to, you know, kill them. You all get credit for it. Um, but here's a strategy that a lot of people use. Start with a dot spell and then follow immediately with a lifesteal spell. Alright, if you die, it's over. You have to abandon and then pick it up again. Alright, so you do not want to die while in this form. And then use the unholy armor and life steal spell every time they become available and then you're done that's pretty much the strategy for the fight just start with a dot spell follow immediately with the life steal spell and use unholy armor and life steal spell every time they become available all right that's really important you do not want to die when you're doing this like i said if you're having trouble just get a couple people that's what i did and yeah it's pretty simple and then when you're done with that quest you get your headpiece